<laughs> he is fast. He's fast, brother. And he has these really big, like, purple tabs on here. Oh! Oh, God! Before we get into the action, just want to say thanks to the sponsor of today's video, which is Simply Safe, but we will get into that a little bit later. What's up, guys? It's Brandon Jade. Today, we're going to be bouncing all over the big island of Hawaii, searching tide poles just like the ones right here behind me. This island is super unique because the whole island is practically a volcano, which means a lot of this rock is actually lava rock. It creates crazy structures right up to the water's edge, which allows the water to run through and create perfect pools for all these crazy fish to live in. There's really no telling what we could find in today's video, but on my past adventures out here on the coast of Hawaii, we have run into some really cool things like sleepy sea turtles, as well as a tiny little octopus that was roaming the rocks at night. disappeared however in midday like this the only way you're gonna see crazy creatures is if you're flipping the rocks we're actually catching giant waves right now and it's flooding this whole area so it's either gonna be pushing a lot of stuff in or dragging a lot of stuff out there we go our very first thing we've got this little sea urchin right here this guy is super spiky but there's his little mouth right there, but all his little fingers actually work and he can crawl across the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see it, but he's moving super slowly in my hand right now. Back with your little group of friends. I'll see ya. There's a really big black and blue sea urchin right here. So we're gonna try to pull that guy and show you guys. That guy's like, oh God, no way. He already stuck me. He already stuck me. Do you see the spine in my finger? I'm not gonna mess with that guy. So that was a spine. I also have another one right here. That guy had really, really thin spines. So I can't mess with him. We have all of this stuff right here. It's like a really seaweedy kind of thing. Then we have this stuff, which is, it's more like a really nice lawn. The turtles roam the shallows here. And every now and then when the tide comes up, they can swim up to these areas and eat that seaweed. You can see areas like this where it's really shaved down. And then you can see areas like that where the turtle wouldn't be able to get its head in there, so it's a little bit longer. No turtles yet today, but let's go ahead and move to the next tide pool at the next location, see what it has to offer. All right, so we've made it to the next spot. This is a really cool area. It's an old abandoned airport. So this whole parking lot used to be a runway. And one thing we noticed as soon as we pulled up is there is a bunch of rocks stacked in really cool ways. That does not look like it should even be possible, but it is. Look at that. And then you have this guy who just balanced a brick. No, why would you do that? No, <laughs> no, bro. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> balanced the brick, it was so cool. And you just, <laughs> your aim was pretty precise. <laughs> Meanwhile, this is the one Ryan made. Not impressive at all. So I, I get your tactic. All right, this one's off limits, Ryan. Off limits, bro. There's all of these old molts. These are not dead crabs. These are the crabs molts right here. So these little guys are actually black and they're running all over the place, but those are the molts. Look at that, there goes another one. Oh! What is one. It's a one too. hermit crab? Yeah, the hermit crab is right there though. There might be another one right there. Right, right here? Yeah. They just go back in his home. Bye, little hermit crab. Whoa! Ah, run away from the water! This guy is so wicked. Oh, God! So, this is a flat urchin, and he has these really big, like, purple tabs on here. But he also has his little spines and then his mouth is in the center. Super cool little guy though. And there's the top. These things look like peanut butter and jelly a little bit. <laughs> All right, buddy. Enjoy your home. Oh, there's a little black crab. Where's he at? He's like a little spider. Oh, there he goes. He's so fast. Look at that big one. Where? Oh, there is one. Get him. Oh, he's got a big claw. Big claw kind of guy. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh God. Oh, it just got splashed so hard, bro. The camera's all wet. <laughs> so we got this little nugget right here, man. He might start running any second. 
Oh gosh, water's coming in. But uh, <laughs> little crab with a big claw. Goodbye, brother. Run away. <laughs> <laughs> he is fast. He's fast, brother. All right. Which way is the front? There he goes. <laughs> no! No! We got him! No! No! We don't got him! All right, we got him this time. He almost got away. <laughs> Look at that, man. He almost got away from us. What do we got, Ryan? Bro, that's an ama crab. An ama crab. Yeah, that's delicious. These little guys are fast. That and they're everywhere. Whole, that is a Hawaiian delicacy. They just kind of run all over the place here. There's a ton of them. And you can find them in tide pools just like this one. Or you can find them over in the grassy areas where the water's coming in. And they're running all around. Surprised you got close to this one. He is missing a few legs. So I think that's the only reason we were able to catch him. Big thanks to the sponsor of today's video, which is Simply Safe. As you guys know, I travel a lot. That basically means I have to leave all my loved ones and my belongings at home unattended. And Simply Safe allows me to keep it secured and even better, keep eyes on. As you guys can see, there are a ton of different sensors that are gonna notify you and keep all of your items protected. They're easy to set up and they go through your phone and the home base. A few of my key favorites, especially for this room, which is basically Jig and Headquarters, is the water sensor and the entry sensor. And behind the podcast desk is a fish tank with water in it and a bunch of electrical cords, just like that one, which you don't want getting wet. So for me, this water sensor goes straight on the ground and will notify me if any water is leaking from that tank and potentially getting in any of my wires. And I installed this massive safe to keep all of our hard drive, all of our data, and all of our footage nice and secure. I also went a further step and put an entry sensor on this, so I will be notified as well. So it turns my safe into a smart safe, basically. So while the sensors are great, the video cameras are even better. These are gonna be live streaming cameras that basically have now turned this building into Fort Knox. I have the front doorbell, I have the indoor camera and the outdoor camera as well. They're currently all installed and I can watch everything live from my phone. I don't know if you guys can see, but Reef just walked back to the door. He's like, hey guys, let me in. Come on in here. <laughs> you might be wondering, how do I get one of these for my home so I can keep it nice and safe? Well, we have a great deal for you. You guys can actually get 20% off your Simply Safe system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and you also get your first month free. All you guys have to do is go to the link in the description, which is simplysafe.com slash jigwithjordan to learn more. Thank you Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video and thank you for giving me peace of mind when I'm on the road. All right, so we just came up on this really cool location. It's low tide here. So some of the tide pools are actually bone dry and just sandy bottoms but this one is totally trapped from the big water. So everything that's in here is staying in here until high tide comes back. We have a ton of sea urchins, which you guys have already seen, but we do have, it looks like some sea slugs and we do have some bigger fish. We're not gonna be able to catch the bigger fish because I've just got my hands, but this is a really cool one. <laughs> so we've got ourselves a little slug here, which is pretty cool. This guy, uh, kind of squishy. It's super slow moving, but we'll put him right back. All right, see you, brother. Go slug on. Dude, how strange are these things? They're just so awkward. Is that a slug in your tide pool, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> All right, brother. Time to go back home. All right, so we just made it to the very last tide pool location. Now, the other two were similar in ways, but this one is completely different. All the tide pools here are very, very shallow, and this is where a lot of the turtles come to use as their resting place and just catch a breath. It is super, super slippery here, and the, I have these little rubber booties on, and they really don't do it justice. So this may just look like a regular tide pool, but we actually have a turtle going from the tide pool to the big water. Oh snap. Oh, look at that. <laughs> what a weird little creature, bro. What this is, is that? I can't think of what they're called. Some type of sea slug, but it's gonna open up these wings and it'll, it'll actually like fly across the water. <laughs> it's so wicked, man. Oh, Baron. Oh, he's slimy. Look at his little face. It's kind of gross, bro. It's kind of <laughs> gross. We put him back.
check that dude out that's pretty freaking cool sea turtle is in the tide pool he's actually just making his way out i don't have a long lens i have a wide lens on this camera so i don't want to get too close but super beautiful you no know, it's super hard to tell but there's actually a turtle going out to sea there and i just saw one somewhere over there as well and a sea urchin apparently <clears throat> Where'd he go? He went under that rock. Did you see that? Lightning fast. Dude, that was so fast. That was fast. <laughs> oh, there he goes again. <laughs> he went under that one. When the water's high, I guarantee all of these holes are just full of little fish homes. It's such a weird structure man so i think that's gonna wrap it up for the tide pools today we bounced to different locations all over the island and found some really cool and really weird things to be honest with you now remember we went out in the daytime which means all of the animals that are out there are probably hiding under rocks trying to escape birds or other predators that could get them now remember the nighttime is when this place really comes to life all the animals start to come from under the rocks and the little cracks and crevices and they go from tide pool to tide pool or even tide pool to the ocean or the ocean to the tide pool. But this place is teeming with life at night. I think the sea turtles are the perfect way to end this video. It just kind of caps it off on a beautiful note. But with that being said, that's gonna wrap it up for today's adventure. I hope you all enjoyed. And as always, we'll catch you on the next adventure, maybe in a tide pool near you. Peace out guys.